Happy New Year, everybody. It's starting to snow a little bit. Getting kind of dark and dingy, but uh, what am I doing? Good question. The question that comes up from time to time is what is the difference between a three inch, ounce and a quarter, lead number five, pheasant load, and one ounce, number eight, TSS, and one ounce, number seven and a half, TSS. So I will do a very quick comparison, which is hardly definitive, but hopefully the differences should be obvious. So what I'm doing here is I'm using my Browning B80 with the True Lock Precision Hunter Improved Cylinder Choke. Improved Cylinder, we're going to start out with the uh, ounce and a quarter Winchester XX, 1185 feet per second, number five. The snow can wreak havoc with my autofocus, but hopefully it'll look halfway decent. So this first shot is going to be, again, improved cylinder, True Lock Precision Hunter modified, 20 gauge B80, Winchester double X ounce and a quarter, number five, 1185 feet per second. Standard pheasant load for me for for decades by now And that's highly likely to be a dead pheasant So that is 43 yards. We're going to change paper and we'll move it along. Same gun, same choke, same 43 yards. This time we're going to use Salt Creek, one ounce, number seven and a half TSS. No doubt a denser pattern. So the last test of our trio is going to be number eight. We'll change paper again. Same gun, same choke, this time one ounce of Tungsten Super Shot number eight. So, for comparison, lead number five, ounce and a quarter, 1185 feet per second, buffered Winchester XX. Great lows, typically I'll hunt with uh, modified uh, to improve modified. I want at least improve modified performance, and that's good to 50 yards out of a 20 gauge, no problem. A little bit farther, but uh, 50, unless you have. Uh, a crossing shot, angling shot, and a go, going away bird. That's about it. Okay. So that's number one. Number two, seven and a half. Far greater density. And this is at 43 yards. So there's no question you're good to go past 60 yards. Certainly not uh, every shot I take is uh, 60 yards or 65 yards. Um, the vast majority are not. 
but I can tell you that seven and a half or number eight tungsten works at 60 yards, adds in the dead in the air. So that's our seven and a half. And what we have for the last shot is number eight, one ounce. Perfectly dense pattern. My impression, without counting pellets, is that we have a little bit larger effective spread with the eights. Because we've got killing patterns beyond just this uh, uh, torso oval. So what I have been doing for the three years that I've been using Tungsten Super Shot, since I've been more focused on 50 to 60 yard patterns, is, for most hunting purposes, likely over choking. Because I've been using modified, uh, depending on barrel diameter, but uh, modified to improve modified for Tungsten Super Shot as well from day one. And it works, but I think I'm handicapping myself because uh, the improved cylinder patterns are just phenomenal. So, uh, a little bit wider pattern here with number eights. And that's at 43 yards. So, uh, around here, uh, nervous roosters, you know, the 45 to 50 yard shots are, are pretty common. They were very common early season uh, this year. As it gets uh, colder, if we get some snow on the ground, actually it's the opposite of uh, what people might think. Late season pheasants around here tend to hold a little bit better if they uh, burrow under the snow, particularly if uh, we get some colder weather, which it looks like we're about to. So it's your choice. All these loads obviously are going to kill wild pheasants, uh, no problem within range. Uh, when it gets out to uh, 50 yards or beyond, I think tungsten is a better choice. And I think improved cylinder is a better starting point, let's put it that way, than modified or tighter. So, um, and also, I'm liking the number eights because um, at 55 yards, clean pheasants, um, do all of them go through with number eight shot? No, but most of them do. You might find uh, two or three pellets next to the bone, which is trivia. Who cares if it goes through? You've got a dead in the air pheasant. But there's nothing actually uh, in the meat in it at all. So just outside the meat, uh, against the backbone, or, or sometimes uh, at the base of the neck, depending on the pellet path. So, um, this pheasant season is just about over, but I'm thinking I've been doing things wrong, even though the pheasants fall dead. I think uh, you have a wider effective pattern with improved cylinder chokes, and number eight rather than number seven and a half. So, uh, gives yourself a little extra leeway, which is the idea of matching the choke to the load. So, Happy New Year, everybody. We'll see you later.